What's good guys, today we'll be talking about some trade scenarios for Kevin Durant and yes I know Kyrie signed the trade exception but the Nets still might trade Kyrie because he might try to leave the team next year when he goes and enters in free agency if he doesn't get offered a long term contract and also I was in the process of making these trades before that happened so to the trades. The first trade, in my in my opinion, the most interesting trade scenario is if the Suns did a trade including DeAndre and Mikael Bridges and Cameron Johnson, and they throw in two picks and maybe a second round pick, and in return they get Kevin Durant and two filler players. And I like this trade because the Suns get DeAndre Aiden off of the team, which they were already having their problems and situations with him, with him and the coach, but also... They, in return, get Kevin Durant, which puts them back in contention next year to compete against the defending champion Golden State Warriors. But on the other side with the Nets, they get DeAndre and Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson. And with those three, they can build a young core because they will still have Ben Simmons. So then they have a young core going into the future. And on top of that, they'll have whatever assets they most likely will get back if they trade Kyrie Irving. So I think it just puts them off to a great start in a rebuild. And I wouldn't have this trade off the table because... I feel like if I was the Nets GM and I had the idea of while wow, KD might have requested a trade, if Kyrie would have left, I'd feel some type of way. So, if I was the GM, me personally, I would try and deal them off and get a former number one overall pick in DeAndre Aiden, a great defender and a high potential scorer in Mikael Bridges, and a good filler role player in Cam Johnson. Next trade includes the Miami Heat and the Nets. And I have the Miami Heat receiving Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. I have the Brooklyn Nets receiving Tyler Hero, Ben Metabile, Kyle Lowry, and Duncan Robinson. I love this trade because the Nets, they get to get in a new young core of Tyler Hero, Bam, and Ben Simmons. While the Heat get Kyrie and KD. And I think this will go over well because Kyrie and KD obviously have wanted to play with each other. But now they get to play in each other in a better system with the new team alongside Jimmy Butler. And I think this team has a lot of potential to be the best team in the East. So I'd be willing to put them over the Bucks. And I know that this, it would kind of diminish like the defensive presence of the Miami Heat. But I feel like it would just bring a whole new side to their offense. And I think the Miami Heat would be willing to do this trade to sacrifice their future for the now. And I feel like you need to do that because Jimmy Butler's playing at an all-time high level. Personally, right now, I think he's a top 10-11 player in this league just by the way he's been performing in the playoffs and the way that he performed in the finals against the Lakers. So I think that they need to utilize him playing in his prime right now and execute on this trade. This next trade, personally, I love. We're finally going to get Dame Smelt. This trade will consist of Shane and Sharp, Nasir Little, Eric Blitzel for Cap Filler, and Anthony Simons. But in return, the Blazers can have Kevin Durant. I love this trade because Kevin Durant and Damian Little are just uh, match made in heaven together. I just think that they're going to bounce off of each other perfectly and they're going to have that great chemistry. And we saw some of that chemistry when they played together on Team USA and they ended up winning it all. And also on the other side of things for Brooklyn. I like this trade because also, again, as I reiterated in some of these other trades, they get a good starting young core and a good start off to a rebuild. Shane Sharp, who has number one pick potential, goes to the team. Nasir Little is a great defender, but he's a project player. But if they can develop him, he'll be something. And Anthony Simons, somebody who, hold it, who held it down for the Blazers, even though Dame was injured for most of the year. And he showed glimpses of him being a star to superstar type player in this league. So I think that this is a great trade for either sides, but I especially think that it's a great trade for Portland, because if Portland gets KD, I could see them having more free agency pull next year. They'll be able to sign some veterans that are ring chasing, or some actual players that would want to play with them that are pretty decent. So this is one of my favorite trades of this video, but to the next trade. This next trade that I think is one of the most unexpected trades that no one has really put together or been talking about. It includes New Orleans and the Nets. I have the Nets receiving Brandon Ingram, Jackson Haynes, Trey Murphy, and two first round picks. Also, Devontae Graham for Philly. While the Pelicans, they receive Kevin Durant and Seth Curry. 
I like this because they get a backup point guard in Seth Curry. Or actually, he doesn't have to play backup because they can just move CJ to his original shooting guard position. And they get Kevin Durant, which will just jump them into contention right now. They won't have, will have to worry about Brandon Ingram developing or anything like that. And with Kevin Durant on this team, it would jumpstart them. And they kind of remind me of a, a last year younger Grizzlies team. A team that they they made the jump to the playoffs, but then they got knocked out pretty early. But then the next year they came back and they made a pretty big impact in the playoffs. And with this team, I could see them really making an impact and going to the finals. With the team of Seth Curry, CJ, Zion, KD, Valanciunas, the floor spacing on that team would just be phenomenal for Zion to, to thrive. So I think that's a perfect situation for him. But also on the other side of New Orleans, you pair up Brandon Ingram and Ben Simmons. We're two players that I think can coincide with each other pretty well. They also get a young talent in Trey Murphy, who who has so much time to develop there. Because once Brooklyn trades these players, I feel like no one's going to have their eye on them. So he'll have his time to be able to develop without criticism. They get their two first-round picks, which is just going to be adding to the plethora of picks that they have. A good big man in Jackson Haynes, who I think he's not going to be anything too special in this league, but he could be it. A good starting big man. And I just think that this this trade works out for both sides pretty evenly. Alright y'all. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate y'all. NBA Sphinx. Out.